PhD Ministries Walter Magaya, who has been under the radar for a long time, was back in the news following the commissioning of what could be the first state of the art stadium in the country. Magaya, who first entered the sporting arena through Yada FC, is a passionate sports person who has over the past years extended his generosity to funding the national football team. <laughs> Having grown one of the biggest Pentecostal churches, Magaya has been using his money to fund the needy. In a short interview, he told HSTV that his passion for sports had inspired him to construct this sporting facility. Uh, passion. We, we, we are saying uh, football must be played by passion, sport must be played by passion. So we said, let's give this to the, to the world and let's passion play. So passion plays the game more than anything else. On the sidelines of opening the 5,000-seater stadium, which has bucket seats and meeting FIFA standards to host international matches, Magaya said he believes that if there are enough sporting facilities in the country, the nation will be able to compete at a global level. If, if, if this is duplicated enough, surely we we'll, we we'll, we'll stand we we'll stand tall even in even in um, international competitions. What is just needed is high performance centers where people can perfect their talent before we compete outside. So it's doable to achieve the greatest if we have such facilities. Thank you very much. Ma wonero angu tikavane ma facilities ne ma stadium akaita se iwa ya ya dinona tichi sumukira zvikuru muna uze mutambo especially kusoka mu football ndinona tichienda kumberi nekuti tinenge ta kwanisa kunge tine nzvimbo ma facilities ekutrainera nekutambira ho bola ndinona mitambo yedu chienda mberi zvakanaka Thank you, sir. Football legend Alois Bunjira applauded the construction of the Hart Stadium at a time Zimbabwe's football team is being forced to travel outside the country for its home matches. Zimbabwe is now Rwanda's orphaned brother after FIFA ruled out all of your soccer stadia for lacking quality to host international matches. Bunjira challenged the city council to lease land to productive people like Magaya. Many thanks uh, to the prophet uh, for this project because it's not just the stadium, there are also camping facilities, uh, training facilities uh, that are also uh, here uh, at the other hotel. So I believe that this can actually be a very useful project for Zimbabwean football. You know, uh, my, hope, my hope is that uh, they, are, they, they, will, they will go back and refer to you to the uh, council bylaws and all this. I think these uh, council bylaws were put together in the colonial era. You know, when, uh, when before independence and we are still using these bylaws. I think it's, it's high time we are flexible enough to realize that we need recreation, we need this facility, these sports facilities. Uh, let go of those, uh, of those bylaws and let people lease uh, this land, give, the, give it to the people that are productive so that we can actually uh, have these kind of projects. Speaking to the media, ZANU PF Central Committee member and other socialites who made it for the launch praised the PhD leader for investing in a stadium. So far, I'm so happy because the stadium we have our indigenous uh, people. It's not about the government stadiums. So through my entire so we are so happy about it. Uh, what's up, what's up, people? How are you doing? This is your boy, Jinembe Light, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be here at the Heart and Soul Stadium, guys. This is uh, one of its kind. For some time, I thought I was in Europe, man, because everything is up to standard, man. And it's good news also for the soccer lovers. No more wonder we have a stadium that meets FIFA and CAF standards, guys. So I'm so excited as a, as a son of the prophet, Jinembe Light, guys. I'm saying come and see it for yourself. You may not be able to come at the official opening. The Art and Soul Stadium is now open for the public. For the more optimistic, Hard Stadium would mark the rebirth of football in a country whose sporting fortunes are on a massive decline, while most of your sporting facilities have all but been neglected. Zirinya uh, zefike bora, wano antogo na bora, watu rimo ende bora mzibabu erito rimo, but kino itzigi sirenye oti ma stadiums edu ma shoma. Ishe bora, dato zitenda niye kuti, hii zino national team ya mwine no nziripa omiru kuruwanda. Kuti, 
This is a great opportunity for the young ones. We'd like to thank Prophet Magaya for everything that is done, for all the effort that is put together with the partners. We thank you, Prophet, for this great opportunity for our kids and the future kids to come. We thank you, Prophet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. And Prophet. Commissioning the facility. President Emerson Munangagwa said the building of sporting facilities is not only a mandate of the Ministry of Sports, Arts and Culture, but a duty to be undertaken by each and every Zimbabwean. Both here at home and in the diaspora have a role to play in building the Zimbabwe we all want. In this particular instance, sports development must never be the responsibility of the central government alone. Now, then, my American media of the case to COVID three ever came as sports grounds. That is nice. As umwen umwen pakati pedu chero kwati nenge tiri wana chauno ita kana chamuno ita chamche ebu pabo maenda. Magaya, who had gone underground, could have just yet chosen a better way to step back into the limelight and into the hearts of the people. Aptly named Heart Stadium is closer to the people's passions, heart and desires. In a country facing serious economic hurdles and a possible drought, sport could be the only way into the hearts of many. Reporting for HSTV News, Kelly Mabaire, Harare.